Thomas is with us, and we're going to hear about the birth of Jesus from the first chapter of Matthew. What are our verses, Thomas? Verses 18 through 25. Perfect. Let's get started. The virgin birth of Christ. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, be, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is con conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be a child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. Great, beautiful reading and story. You know what we say when it's Christmas time, Christ is born, glorify him. Now, Matthew wanted us to know that Jesus was not conceived just like everyone else. That's why we heard that Mary was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Mary was his mother, but it was the Holy Spirit that made that happen. So Jesus had a human mother, so he was human, but he is also God. Unlike you and me, Jesus chose to come to earth. He chose to be with us. And that's what Emmanuel means too, God with us. He wants to be with us and he wants us to want to be with him. That's what it means to be a Christian, to want to get to know Jesus and to stay close to him. God was with us then with Mary and Joseph, and he's with us today too. And that's what we mean when we say that Christ is in our midst. So thanks, Thomas. I'm Father Alexis. And remember, Christ is in our midst.